finally got the whip machine clamp on muzzle brake mounted up onto the 264 Winchester mag. Here in the good old Ruger M77 Hawkeye 2. My measurements turned out to be pretty spot on. It took a little bit of encouragement. I had to spread the gap open just a little bit with the bolts to get a proper seat. We're going to head out to the range and see how she works. We did some hand loading. We used Hodgson H1000 with some 140 grain ELDM match from Hornady. I loaded up several different charges, anything from 60 grains to 62. Still trying to hold this right around a 3,000 feet per second threshold. I used a, a overall length measurement tool. All that is is a piece of brass that's threaded that this tool goes on to. You insert it into the chamber of your rifle and push on the rod and you can slide that bullet right up to where it meets the uh, lands and take your measure. On my rifle, I came up with a case overall length of 3.331, which gave me a base to ogive measurement of 2.710. And using my case comparator tool, we got good concentricity amongst all the seating depths on all the bullets. All right, we're back from the range. And this is what we did. My cold bore shot, of course you can see, flew up there, way up there in 10 buck two. And then I laid four right in there, right at about an inch. I only sent four rounds down range. I was just more or less out there to test the uh, muzzle brake. Pretty pleased with how that performed. Uh, my point of aim was, of course, you know, way over here on the bullseye, but uh, I pulled the, the scope off of this uh, 264, doing a little bit of work on it. Uh, we're going to have to go back out and zero that up. Anyway, pretty pleased with how things are progressing so far. We still got a lot more to run. Anyway, thank you for watching. Y'all have a good day.